This is big news today out of Cleveland where investigators confirmed that a nationwide manhunt is over, saying Steve Stevens shot and killed himself as Pennsylvania State Police closed in on him this morning in Erie County. But many questions remain about the tragic murder of a 74-year-old grandfather this weekend by the hands of this man that you're seeing on the screen here. By the way, we have this video because he posted a lot of different video on Facebook. And so this is part of the resources that helped with the investigation. Joining me now, Cleveland Police Detective Steve Loomis. So, uh, Steve, if you could for our viewers, just sort of characterize your experience um, over the last few days in relation to this case. Well, um, my job in Cleveland is to monitor the activities of our uh, detectives and police officers out there. And in this case, we actually participated in a uh, huge manpower effort in, in the city of Cleveland and outside the city of Cleveland with our federal, state, and other local partners. So, How would you compare uh, that to other investigations that you've, you've been a part of and have witnessed? Well, you know, this one has a different flavor to it. There, every single one of these things is tragic, and our, and our hearts and souls go out to uh, the family, um, uh, Godwin family, and uh, just what an incredible guy. Um, Facebook is a double-edged sword. You know, it's, this should have never been allowed to put be, stay on there as long as it did, but because of that, if not for that, um, we wouldn't have got the media attention that we needed and the help from the law-abiding citizens and the, you know, the, the horrifying things that people that shouldn't have had to see that, you know, saw. Right. So um, it, it, I, I don't know what the answer is um, to that. We absolutely have to partner with, with the law-abiding citizens out here. And if it was not for them and their efforts um, in identifying, giving us hundreds, literally hundreds and hundreds of leads, across the country, police departments across the country were following up on leads um, to find this uh, suspect. You know, it's such an interesting so, point. I just want to show our viewers, you know, if you're on, if you have Facebook, well, maybe some of our viewers don't, or you have other social media, if you could come back live to yeah. us on, on TV now, uh, whenever you guys can, it's a very simple, you know, button. You're just pressing, hey, I want to post, like, this is what I'm doing. I'm hosting a show. If you can put Steve back on, too, that would be great. I'm hosting a show. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to push here, live video. Push the button. Then I would be live. I'm not doing that because we're not, we're not supposed to broadcast live from Ron set. We're already doing it, Steve. So it is yeah. very, very easy to do. But you point out that it could be good or bad in, in trying to solve these crimes. I'm concerned about the risk that other criminals look at this and think, this is the way I'm going to get famous. I mean, this is it. Sure. We've seen these incidents before. We've seen beatings. We've seen rapes. Um, we, we've seen murders now. I mean, so what is? Yeah. what are some of the answers here? Yeah, I'm not condoning at all um, the things that we're seeing on here. Um, but, but it is something that needs to be addressed. This social media is crazy. You can get a crazy amount of, you know, the first nine calls that we got in the city of Cleveland 911 dispatch system, my daughter's a dispatcher up there. First nine calls that we got for, for out of state citizens huh. that said that they saw this, you know, before we got the uh, first local call um, uh, about the shooting. So um, first again, on the video, you know, Steve, Steve, is that what you're saying? That first were the, like, hey, the, there's something that happened online. You guys need to see this. Yes, ma'am. Wow. They, they were calling the 911 dispatchers in, in Cleveland um, and from out of state saying, hey, we just there's a guy running around shooting people on Facebook um, in Cleveland. So um, it, it, that's a horrifying thought. It's, it's horrifying. The, the problem is, is that people that don't see these things and don't the police officers deal with this type of tragedy every single day in this country, every single day. Um, most people don't. Most people have blinders on as to what's really going on out here and the violence. And uh, well, can, now now they've seen it, and, and you, that's discouraging. I mean, it is, but you're, as you point out, like the facts are the facts. And so there is, in some cases, yeah. hey, we knew who this guy, what this guy looked like, and we were able to talk about it freely amongst ourselves using social media and the news. I'm curious just about one other aspect of the case that has less to do with social media. And if we have that map ready to go, I'd like to show our viewers. It's a, it's, you know, it's a short drive between where Cleveland and Erie, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And it, during the press conference, it was said, well, hey, we we were looking at this area before and we were going to go mm -hmm. back to this area. Steve, do you have any information as to why this particular area was a focus for law enforcement? Well, uh, you no, know, we did very early on get a ping. We, we pinged his phone out there um, and then that went away. That was very early on in the investigation. I don't know what led the federal resources to that area, but if you just, if you look at his Facebook post when he was driving in a car, he mentioned 
uh, Prescott. He mentioned casinos. He mentioned a gambling problem, you know, which are all things. He was familiar with that area, we know hmm, for sure, because of the, the casino out there. So um, I don't know any of the intricacies of, you know, what led them out there at this point. But it seems like, uh, from what we understand, it was, you know, street street cops, state troopers right, in Pennsylvania right. and, that, and that ended up fighting them. So I don't mean to cut you off, but apparently from a tip, too, from a citizen. So some good teamwork there. Well, the billboards, there. yeah, the billboards uh, across fashion, the country. Old-fashioned social media. See, we got to run, but we appreciate your insights. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll have more on this case as we get it, and we'll be right back with more happening now.